People call for more information to be released in the officer involved shooting death of Stephen Perkins in Decatur last month. One man is also looking for answers of his own. Yeah, Perkins' neighbor Justin Shepard suffered damage to his home the night of the shooting, and he says he's still looking for help to get it repaired. News 19's Mariah Wiggs spoke with Shepard, and Mariah, what did he have to say? Stephen Kelly, good morning to you both. Just, excuse me, Justin Shepard says he was awakened by gunshots hitting his home the night his neighbor, Stephen Perkins, was killed. He says seven bullets entered his home and seven times during the incident. He's had to deal with emotional recovery while he also deals with the physical recovery of his home, repairing damage from the shooting. Shepard has asked the city for assistance with this, but says he was, he, he he has received little to no help. It's more than just bullet holes. One shot damaged an outlet, causing the electricity to go out in the room. Shepard says he reached out to veteran services and city officials, but has not received any help. After attending city council meetings and protesting since the shooting, Shepard got a phone call from Decatur City Council President Jacob Ladner Tuesday morning, but the call didn't bring any concrete answers, and he thinks he shouldn't have had to wait this long to hear back from someone with the city. I feel neglected in a way that nobody's reached out and said, hey, look, here's an advocate from the city on our behalf to, you know, if you need services, if you know, we'll walk you through this whole process and, you know, nobody's offered that kind of compassion. And I can only imagine what Steve's family is feeling knowing that I've been neglected as that because they suffered a far larger loss and haven't got that compassion either. Shepard says Ladner told him yesterday someone from the city would be reaching out to him. I followed up with him myself last night and asked if he ever received that phone call. As of 7.30 p.m., he said he had not. Reporting live in Decatur this morning, Mariah Wiggs, News 19.